Hi guys, this is the Seattle Ring Hunter and I'm down here in Puyallup, Washington. And I got a call last night from a guy by the name of Dave. He was out here fishing. As you can see, some of the guys across the river are out there. <clears throat> they are walking out a little ways from the shore. Uh, in the middle, the current gets a little, quite a bit more aggressive actually. So you gotta take extreme caution. But Dave told me that he was out here fishing. And down below here, you can see some rocks right off the shoreline down here. Um, he was out there a little ways, not too deep, and he was wrangling a fish. And he believes that's where his uh, rose gold wedding ring fell off of his finger. And as you can see in that water, you can't see anything. It's very dirty. This is the Puyallup River. Without a metal detector, it's damn dang near impossible to uh, visually locate anything that you've dropped down there even if you were to drop something and try to go right down after it so he was quick and uh, good thinking on his part he got online get in touch with me and started telling me some details and I gave him some tips while he was out here I asked him to take several pictures and I was all the way up in Seattle and it was in the after, uh, late evening afternoon evening it was gonna start to get darker so I knew I wouldn't be coming out until the next morning He's got work, I had the uh, day available. The photo on the make a mark, um, there's a very distinct rock down there that he actually showed me in a photo, so I know that this is the exact spot. Never can tell if that's gonna be hold to be true or what kind of photos I'm gonna get from people. So one of the suggestions I made was that he'd find a plastic bag. We've got a Fred Meyer grocery store around the corner. At the very least, he could go get a grocery bag, put a couple rocks in it, and put them underwater a little bit. And then if I were to get over that general area, I'd know that I was in the hot spot. Well, he found a uh, plastic bag, probably so much trash around here. It didn't take him but a few steps to find an ice bag somebody had from some uh, ice from the grocery store. And he put some rocks in it. So right down there, in that little pile of rocks to the right of it, in that little cove right down there is where he lost, uh, believes he lost his ring. He was wrangling a fish. And uh, either that or a little bit just downstream here. So we're going to work this general area. And hopefully we can get his ring back on his finger. So stick with us. We're going to be extremely careful. But as you can see across the river over here, how far this gentleman is and the depth on that side, um, I was already told, and we'll find out once we get in the water with the dry suit on. Uh, it says it drops off pretty quickly and starts to get deeper. So you just always have to be careful whenever you're out in an active water situation. And we're not going to push it any farther than we need to. I don't need to be uh, swimming my ass back into shoreline over here and uh, scrubbing on the rocks and the uh, blackberry vines just to get out of the water. That wouldn't make for a very nice day. So we're going to go ahead and get the gear on and we're going to come down here and we're going to get that gentleman's ring back hopefully. Rivers are one of the most difficult, especially in the great northwest. We have some pretty stronger flowing rivers. Pretty uh, difficult to get these rings back in some of these rivers. Um, so we're hoping for the best today. Hopefully it just fell straight down and it's sitting down there and it's just hanging out for us to get it. So see you in a bit. Cheers. All right, guys, down in here, in this little area right here is where we believe the ring to be. You can see the flow out there is a bit more than we want to be into. So we're going to be real cautious here not to get out too far and be careful because it could drop off and get deep real quick. If you lose your footing, you're going to be down the river. So here we go. Real strong signal right here. I just put the detector in the water. We'll see what it is. It could be a number of things. So many people fishing here. You gotta be very careful because we can't see anything in this water. Gonna have to use the pin pointer. Some bait somebody was using. 
That's obviously not it. Feels like a metal aluminum can. And that's why we got such a big hit down there. I can feel it with my fingers. That sucks. That's not it. We could be so fortunate to find it that quickly. Fishing lead. Ah, to be expected. A lot of that's going to be found in here. So guys, this was the bag that I had him put in the river. We're going to take this and throw it away. We did find this bag and I did uh, text him while he was at work. So we know that this bag was the general area where he was wrangling the fish. So we were down in this area here just a moment ago. And I was poking around with this because there's a lot of rocks and crevices, so I'm just kind of working it by hand. Uh, the big metal detector for when it's deeper, probably. So I was down in this area and just a moment ago, what did I pull up? Yep, there's his ring right there. Rose gold on the edges there. Real nice, so he's gonna be excited to get that back. All right, guys, on the Puyallup River today, people are out here catching fish. And uh, we caught the lost wedding band. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the finger a little bit better here so we don't lose it a second time. And we'll get that back to him here shortly. Okay guys, so we're back down here at the river. We just got cleaned up. We got Dave's ring. He doesn't know about it yet. So let's go and see if we can uh, FaceTime him. See if he answers. I believe he might be at work or maybe just getting out of work. But uh, we'll see if we can get his reaction on uh, FaceTime here. All right, let's see what we can do. Hey Dave! Hey! How's it good. going? How's it going? I'm gonna flip the good. camera around. I, I'm out here still and I was just wanting you to kind of, um, you're driving there it looks like. Yeah. 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 Do you want to give me a call back in just a few moments so if you can pull over or are you stuck on the freeway? I'm stuck on the freeway but, uh, but I'm, I'm really close actually. I'm heading down there. Uh, no worries here. I know you gotta pay attention to your driving there. Yeah. And so this is, uh, you can kind of see right now, I don't know, if, don't, don't, uh, that kind of looks like the area, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So this rock that's sticking out here? Uh, oh my god! <laughs> Pay attention to your driving, bro. Oh my god! Woo! We found it. Found it. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> All right. We're gonna we're gonna end this FaceTime call, and I'll get back in touch with you on a phone call or a text here in a moment. We'll okay. catch up, okay? Uh, uh, there. Oh really? That's um, awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll hang out here like, then. Uh, yeah, yeah, like uh, five or ten minutes, okay? Oh wow, that's really cool. Okay, we'll see you okay. in a little bit. No worries. Alright, thanks. Bye-bye. Uh -huh, bye. Well, that was pretty cool. Pretty good reaction out of him. And uh, we got that ring back for him. So we'll meet up with him here in a few moments and finish this off. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright guys, the Seattle Ring Hunter once again. We're out here at the Puyallup River behind us in Puyallup and we got Dave here. Nice to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. We just recovered his ring, but why don't you go ahead and tell us uh, exactly what happened yesterday and how you were feeling and how long you've had the ring. Yeah, so I've had the ring for uh, just over a year. Um, I got married to my beautiful wife in Snohomish and I, it's like my Congratulations, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, right on. Yeah, we're we're like expecting a child in oh. like a few months here, mm -hmm. and so, you know, the ring is like we had a custom made, oh, and it gosh. like combines the two metals of the engagement ring and our wedding band, and so the two metals are both in my band, and you know, oh, my we like goodness. went through this whole process, and it means a tremendous amount to me and to my yeah. wife, and so, you know, so I was here yesterday. It was so busy. Uh, the problem was packed with people fishing all day. Having a pretty slow morning, and then I got my first bite, got real excited. And you were just down there by I those rocks, just down there, right by those rocks. And uh, I like the fish was jumping, and mm -hmm. I was trying to get a hold of it, I couldn't get it in the net. Some people were helping me, and I essentially oh. had to just grab the fish. I finally got it in, got it tied up, and got it, got it gutted. 
and I went back to start casting again and on my like third cast I, I realized oh. I looked down and I <laughs> I like I realized the ring my ring was missing and it, I I can't even describe that feeling I mean yeah. I think you probably have mm -hmm. seen people describe it a lot but it's yeah your heart's out there in the middle of the yeah river. and I just like sat down I dropped my rod and I was just like I just <laughs> covered my face and my hands and the people I was fishing next to they're like are you all right <laughs> like are you okay yeah. and I told them what happened and they're like oh no if you guys look at that water you cannot see through that water at all that is very muddy water you know the last time I was out here I lost I lost my wife's sunglasses yeah in the river and I just oh, like, leaned over and I was like oh my god the sunglasses are one thing but like this is yeah. like irreplaceable and I like I I like kind of took my fish I was like in a daze I went to Fred Meyer and got some ice, and I was just sitting in the parking lot. And I called my wife, and I, it was, I was a mess. And then I was looking online. I'm like, how do I, can I rent like a metal detector or something? And then the the ring finder like director, website, website, yeah. yeah, that came up. So you just did a search for like metal detector, I lost was like, ring, yeah, and like it was the first thing that came awesome. up. And I like saw like all these testimonials, and then yeah. I clicked your name because you were like really close to here. Yeah. And then I was like. Not even 24 hours ago. And I think you waited long enough to see this back, sir. There you go. You got it back. I'm excited to get it back oh for you. Oh my god. I Like I said earlier before though, a lot of times in the rivers it's very difficult. To, sometimes people are on rafts or stuff and yeah. they're out in the middle and they get farther out in the tubes and stuff. But you yeah. were just down here in the shallow. Yeah. It dropped off a little bit quicker. Yeah. It's chest high pretty quickly. So, yeah. you know, but from what you told me, you know, we had a good shot at it. And yeah. fortunately, the metal detection equipment, just right, that rock on the right that kind of yeah. sticks out, yeah, yeah. right down below there. And I was, you'll see it on the video later. Yeah. And so I'm glad to get that back to you. I'm really excited. I, I, I can't so. even tell you how much this means to, it, to me and to us. And you probably learned one thing is it's uh, leave it in the car, or leave know. it at home next time you're out in the water, Definitely. next time you go on the boat or the dock. Oh my God, I'm but, never you know, losing this ring again. Yeah, so oh I'm really God. excited. All right, guys, I'm the Seattle ring hunter in the Seattle area or any in Was anywhere in Washington. Did you give me a call if you've lost anything important. Uh, the number is 206-618-8194 scuba certified we do scuba recovery also in the rivers the lakes the streams the grass the sand catch me up on the phone and uh, call me as soon as possible that's one of the things that he did that was really good is that he called me he found me while he was still out here so he was able to get some real good photos and some documentation uh, digital documentation to get to me so I was able to come out here and work the area while he was actually at work this morning you know everyone's schedules are a little bit tight these days and we're all in different places so it worked out for the best and that's the best thing you can do is uh, get in touch with me or someone else from the ring finders and uh, as soon as possible. Alrighty, we'll see you down the road. Thanks guys. <laughs> if you've lost your ring or a special item of value, please get in touch with me at the seattleringhunter.com as soon as possible so I can arrange to do a search for you.